Hiya folks, it's Antar, and I am back with round two, or round one, whatever you want to call it, of the Underdog Bros Tournament. Um, my opponent for these matches is Spark Blaze Warrior, and basically whoever wins the series of matches goes on to the next round, and the person who doesn't is eliminated, so lots on, lots at stake here. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so um, my opponent um, is going to lead off in this first match with an Absol and a Reunculus. Uh, Reuniclus, I don't know. Uh, and I lead off with my uh, Rotom and the correct Kazulu, the correct Tangrowth. So yeah. Um, Rotom is the fastest out of all the Pokemon on the field, which is pretty awesome. So I get off a Discharge. It's going to go ahead and activate Kazulu's um, uh, Cell Battery. Unfortunately, I get paralyzed, and I'm not running Trick Room this time around because I think all my Pokemon are going to be faster. For the most part, I left Steelix and Behem at home. Um, anyway, he goes ahead and Fire Blasts. So this is a very strange special Absol. Wasn't really expecting that. Takes out Kazulu before it can do anything, which is a real shame. Um, and that's sad. Although I did get both of his Pokemon down to about 50%. Anyway, um, his Reuniclus goes ahead and Psychics my Tachikoma, gets it down to 60 HP and lowers its special defense. So that's really not good for me, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. I mean, Rotom's still alive and it is still the fastest. So anyway, I go ahead and send out Mikhail, my Gallade, and Gallade is going to um, go ahead and Drain Punch his Absol. Unfortunately, he protects and so uh, no dice there. Tachikoma goes ahead and uses Blizzard, and so I'm hoping that it's going to be enough to take out his Rionicles. Um Unfortunately, he survived. Oh, no, no, it takes him out. Oh, yeah, excellent, excellent, yeah. So, um, and the great thing here is that, thanks to Shell Bell, I get 11 HP recovery. So yeah, Drain Punch, punch is obviously blocked. Nothing I can do there. And now he sends out his Karate. <laughs> Very clever! Uh, his Machoke. And I assume it's an EVO light in the choke. Um, anyway, uh, another blizzard. It goes ahead and takes out his Absol and brings his Karate down to about 50% health. And meanwhile, Tachikoma is uh, uh, ratcheting that health right back up. Mikhail goes ahead and does a drain punch. Um, just, you know, powerful attack and whatnot. Karate survives with like 2 or 3 HP. He gets off a, um, a stab, super effective dynamic punch, which is obviously going to be enough to take out my Rotom. So no surprise there, Rotom is down. I go ahead and send out uh, Lantern on my side, and I believe he sends out right, he sends out Festus, his little Larvitar, which I'm like, Larvitar? That's a really strange choice of a Pokemon. Um, anyway, I go ahead and Shadow Sneak his um, Machoke just to kill it, uh, and that is a good game for that Machoke. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and Scald his Festus. Um, <clears throat> which I don't remember if this one hit KOs, it should. Yeah, it does, okay. So, easy victory for me already. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but I gotta win at least once more um, to win this series of matches. So anyway, all these battles were saved on my, on my save file, so that's great, I don't have to do some weird editing stuff. Instead, you're just gonna have to um, deal with me swapping battle videos just for a second. So here's battle number two. And uh, now he's seen my team and he knows that I'm not as overly dependent on Trick Room as um, my first round or zeroth round, whatever, um, battles may it seem. So he goes ahead and leads off with his Kling Clang and his Absol, and um, I'm thinking, okay, this is good. I, I, um, actually, I'm thinking, no, I probably want to set up Trick Room because I think my Pokemon are actually going to be slower this time around. I actually call, call back Diana. Um, because I just figured, don't want to set up Trick Room just yet, and Kitsulu should be fairly slow. Um, Angler goes for the Thunderbolt against his Kling Clang. Um, it's not super effective or anything, but does do a lot. Anyway, um, yeah, this is why I swapped out my, um, Behem. Anyway, yeah, uh, Kitsulu takes that like a champ. Unfortunately, his Kling Clang runs Trick Room, and I'm like, what? What? Trick Room Kling Clang? That's the weirdest thing ever. Anyway. He goes ahead and gear grinds um, me now, and so that's one hit, two hits, this hit does a lot more because of the crit, um, and luckily it only hit two times, so Hack's kind of balancing out here. Uh, on the one hand he only got two, but on the other hand he got a crit, so anyway, I go ahead and power whip, do not take out his Absol, that Absol um, survived surprisingly, and it does manage to take out my Kazulu, uh, so that is Sad Pandas. 
Uh, anyway, Angler is up by some weird twist of fate, the fastest Pokemon on the field. Never thought that I'd see that uh, happen. Um, takes his Pling Clang down to very low HP, but it is not enough to kill it. Anyway, go ahead and send out Bayheen. Um, kind of seems strange, but I figured he might protect this turn. Um, Diana go went ahead and used Psychic on his Kling Clang just to take it out, um, which is great because it's going to be the slowest Pokemon on the field pretty much always. Um, not as slow as a Musharna, and I really wish I could bring my Musharna, but no, uh, no such luck there um, with, with the rules of the tournament. Anyway, um, next out for him is his Festus, his Larvitar yet again. Um, I don't think I correctly predicted this uh, Protect, um, because it, um, but I go ahead and Toxic his uh, Arcana, thinking it's a fairly low HP, and um, otherwise um, my Bayheen really can't do anything. So anyway, um, I get a Dark Pulse to the face, survive, uh, with 43 HP, not, not the worst thing in the world, but his Festus protects, had I gone for the Scald, that would have been so much better. Um, but oh well. Anyway, his Festus has a Burn Orb, this is obviously a Gut Set. Um, uh, Diana is going to go ahead and recover as much health as she can. Um, and his uh, Festus goes ahead and uses Rock Slide, uh, which is going to hurt quite a bit, and Angler, I just couldn't believe how poorly Angler took it until I saw, oh, it was a crit, that makes so much more sense. And then Arcana goes ahead and uses Dark Pulse, very smart targeting Lantern, even though Lantern's a special wall. I think he actually could have survived had I not been critted on, but you know, whatever. I mean, I got some crits earlier, so it's really not the end of the world. And I do manage to take out his um, our, uh, his Absol with the poison at this point, and now the dimensions have returned to normal, so I might actually stand a chance. I go ahead and send out my last Pokemon, my Rotom, um, and he sends out his Milotic, and I'm like, oh, shoot. Um, so here I make a mistake. I go ahead and use Discharge, forgetting, of course, that... Um, Larvitar is, at this point, um, rock ground, not rock dark. So anyway, it um, does a fair amount to my Lodic, but really not as much as I would have wanted. Um, he's going to go ahead and get off a Hydro Pump. I don't, that does not kill, but I'm just hoping that this uh, Rock Slide misses, but unfortunately it doesn't. Um, Tachikoma is taken out, and this battle is pretty much lost. Um, really not much I can do here. I go for the Psychic against my Lodic. I would have been much better off uh, targeting Festus. Um, but, oh uh, well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, my low tick goes ahead and hydro pumps me. Very surprised that that didn't miss, but, uh, you know, that none of his hydro pumps miss because hydro pump has such awful accuracy, but that is the game. So we are now one and one. Um, and this is, we're going to have to go to the third battle of the series, uh, to decide everything. It all comes down to this. Yeah! Okay, so, um... Anyway, uh, do do do, intermission, boo boo, and here we go, final battle! It's the final countdown! Yeah, sorry, I can't sing. That was actually really bad. I, I'm sorry, I, I uh, assaulted your ears like that. Okay, so anyway, he leads off with his Kling Clang and his Absol. Um, I'm gonna lead off with my Tachikoma and my Mikhail, uh, the same team that faced off against the Bayhees. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a fun battle. Anyway, uh, his Absol protects. Um, not really surprising. Um, I go ahead and Blizzard, uh, and, you know, obviously it's going to be resisted by his Kling Clang, but even so, it does a fair amount of damage. And Mikhail has Stab, super effective Drain Punch, and so I'm just hoping that's going to take him out before the Trick Room, uh, before he's able to set up Trick Room, and indeed I am successful. There is going to be no Trick Room this game. And, um, Mikhail, you are a one awesome sauce Pokemon. Um, anyway, Larvitar is now up. Uh, both Pokemon are weak to fighting, which is really awesome for me. Um, although he is going to go ahead and swap into Rhianoclus. Um, Tachikoma is going to go for the Blizzard. Uh, his Festus avoids the attack, which is sad for me, um, because I'm really fearing it. Uh, anyway, it does a lot of damage to Reuniclus, though. Um, Drain Punch is now going to be resisted, but it still does a fair whack of damage. I'm really impressed by that. Um, and actually, I get back to full HP before, you know, Life Orb. Um, Festus goes ahead and uses Rock Slide. It's going to be super effective against Tachikoma. Um, even so, I didn't expect it to do that much damage, and indeed, um, it was a crit. It was indeed a crit on my Rotom uh, fridge form. Um, and I survived with 1 HP, so again, hacks balancing out. On the one hand, I survived with 1 HP. On the other hand, he did crit against me, so that's kind of awesome. Um, his Festus protects, I 
think I was expecting that. Um, no, I think I go ahead and use Drain Punch, not predicting them to protect, but it doesn't matter. Um, Reuniclus is taken out by another Blizzard. I'm really glad that Blizzard didn't miss, and now um, Mikhail has no target. So that's kind of awesome. And yeah, I get some I get a piddling amount of HP recovery, 6 HP back, um, which is just hilarious. Anyway, he's going to go ahead and send out his Absol again. Again, um, both of his Pokemon are weak to fighting type moves, so that's really awesome for me. In fact, his team has a huge fighting type weakness. Three of his Pokemon are weak to fighting type moves, and fighting is a really common type in this metagame. I don't know, doubles, whether you count that as a metal game. Anyway, um, his Absol protected, and just like the last turn, Mikhail's not going to get to do anything because Tachikoma, my Rotom, is such a freaking champ, um, and does all the KOing for me. Um, so yeah, his, I believe this is his last Pokemon, and um, a Blizzard is going to go ahead and hit him, and I think it takes him out in one hit, uh, thanks to the fact that he's only the, the only Pokemon left in the field, and it is Stab, and it is a 120 base power, and indeed that is the game. So Spark Blaze Warrior, great game, and it looks like I'm moving on to the next round. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.